Yma yng Nghanolfan Gelfyddydol Galeri Cynarfon ar fy hefyn y bydwerydd, mi fydd Llynyddiaeth Cymru yn cyhoeddi enillwyr gwobra llyfr flwyddyn 2015. On June 4th, Literature Wales will be announcing the winners of the Wales Book of the Year Awards for 2015 here at Galeri Cynarfon. Today, we'll be revealing the shortlist for this year's prize. Ymlaen Anita at y cyhoeddi. Mae'r llyfrau wedi rhan in dri categori. There are three categories. Ffiglen, Fiction, Barddoniaeth, Poetry a Ffeithiol Greadigol, Creative Non-Fiction. Bydd gwobr o ddwy fil o bennoedd i enillydd pob categori a chwe mil ychwanegol i'r prif enillydd. The winner in each category will receive £2,000, with the overall winner receiving a further £6,000. Y beirniad Cymraeg eleni ydy'r bardd Howell Griffiths, yr actor a DJ Gareth Potter a'r awdur Anes Glyn. This year's English language judges are novelist Tessa Hadley, poet Paul Henry and journalist and broadcaster Alex Clark. A dwi'n fel chi awn o gael croeso i dwi o'r beirniad eleni at ni i drafod yr hestre byrion. Anes, Alex, croeso mawr, welcome. Diffor iawn, Anes, bron i hanner cant o lyfrau i'w cysidro, a, a'r rhein i'r rhai amrywiol iawn, am beth eich chi'n chwilio? Y mae'n prawf sylfaenol ni ddweud, oedd bod cyfrol yn aros efo ni ar ôl i ni gair clori am hell wedi hynny yn aml iawn. Boed hynny o ran cynnwys, neu safon o sgwenni, neu rhaith bod ni wedi gweld bywyd trwy lygad gwahanol, gweld yn hunan trwy lygad gwahanol, a hefyd gweld am bethau le trwy lygad gwahanol. A dyna fy mae'n prawf, a mae mor braf cael dweud bod y naw cyfrol sydd ar yn rhestr ferni i gyd yn mwy na bodloni y, y mae'n prawf arbennig yna. Alex, over 90 English language books to consider and a huge variety of subjects. So what made the nine shortlisted books stand out? I suppose what you're always looking for when you're judging any prize, fiction, non-fiction, poetry, and we were doing all three, is somebody who is sure of their voice, who is sort of inhabiting the world that they've tried to create, whether fictional or real, and yet still managing to push some kind of boundaries with language, with the journey that they're taking the reader on, um, and end up in a different place from where they started. Well, let's turn our attention now then to the first shortlist. Here's our first category, a category cantar, Eddie Figlen. Figlen. Evro Dowish, Jerry Hunter, a Lolva. Saith oes efa, Lleike Roberts, y lolfa. Austin y noia, Gareth F. Williams, Gwas Gwynedd. Fiction. The Dig, Cynan Jones, Granta. The Redemption of Galen Pike, Caris Davis, Salt. Burrard Inlet, Tyler Keevil, Parthian. And as dwi nofel hanesyddol swmpus iawn, faint o gyd bwysedd o'n er rhwng narratif y stori a'r cendi'r hanesyddol? Be oedd o'n ddifyr iawn am y ddwy yna, oedd y rhaith bod ni ddim yn cario dal po wers hanes wrth allan. Uh, mi oedd yr hanes yn cael ei gyfleu drwy gyfrwng y cymeriadau, a'r hyn i y cymeriadau rwy'n ymalio amdani nhw cymeriadau byw iawn. Um, y frod ywyll wedi gosod yng nghanol yr ail ganrif yr bymthag, Cemdir um, y Rhyfelod Cartra yn Lloegr, y prif gymeriad yn symud o'r fan honog o Gymru draw i America i chwilio am grŵp, neu gymuned o, o Gymru o wedi ymsefydlu yno. Mae'r symud yn, yn dda iawn, chi o fel bod sy'n nofel, eitha hir, y nofel hanesyddol, mae'r iaith yn pefrio yn llwyr. A mae'r un peth yn wir yn union am awst yn y noiag yn Gareth F. Clamp o nofel yn llythrennol a chi o ran swmp ac o ran y testun. Y cemdir yn y fan honno di rai o'r rhyfel byd ar ynys creta. Um, fel ni'n dweud, yr hanes yn, yn cael ei gyfleu drwy gasgliad o gymeriadau eithriadol y gri. Mae'r sgwenni eto yn wych mae o'n garlamus, mae'r ddeilog fel sych chi'n disgwyl yn taro yn wir bob gafael. Mae'r dydydd gyfro wedyn ta'n Lleiki Roberts yn hollol wahanol, casgliad o streon byrion a'r rhein i mor amrywiol, a'i dyna oedd cryfder y gyfrol ta. Ie, yeah, hynny di, ydych mae hwn mae stori fer yn gyfrwng llawer iawn tynnych, da ni wedi bod yng nghwmni dwy nofel epic, banaramig, 
cynfas lai dynach um, ond eto yn llawn am rywiaeth saith merch, saith o oed gwahanol, saith cemdir gwahanol, saith dafodiaeth gwahanol ac oedd hynny wel yn taro'n yn, yn wir bob gafael. Ond y cryfder mwyaf sy'n i ddweud am gyfrol Llicyr Obus ydy saith eto bag yna ni saith cymeriad. Wel, mae rwy'n yn teimlo i'r byw drostyn nhw, yn chwerthu nefo nhw ac yn, yn crio fo nhw hefyd ar adegau. Dwi'n meddwl bod y tri ohono ni wedi cael llygau llawn mwy nag unwaith yng nghwmni y cymeriadau yma. Now, Alex, some people might be surprised to see that there are two collections of short stories on the list this yes. year. What does that tell us about their popularity as a form of literature? I think it is, is interesting because um, the novel that's on the short list is also a very short novel by a writer who's interested in the short form. And although we do see um, many books over great hundreds of pages written. It is interesting that many writers seem to be interested in this business of compression, um, of trying to make something work, a world come to life, life over the shortest uh, distance. I don't know why it is particularly, but it's certainly true that short stories seem to have a life of their own. And in both the cases of, of these short story collections, um, these were really accomplished writers. They mastered this business of bringing to life a world. In Tyler Keeville's book, these were all connected by a particular place, a particular piece of water um, in Vancouver. Um, with Caris Davis, they didn't have one setting, but she often located herself in history, in different parts of the world, and mastered wonderfully for us um, this brilliance of the, the twist, the thing that will be the payoff of a short story that makes you go, <gasps> but it's not just a sort of cheap trick, it's not just a gimmick. And then The Dig by Kenan Jones, a short novel about badger baiting. What drew you to that particular novel? It's one of the bleakest, most compelling books um, that we had read. And it's just very interesting about nature because it, it pits these two people, really. It pits a farmer against a badger baiter. Um, and it somehow portrays them as both being part of this landscape, although you are very much more on the side, obviously, of one than the other. Both are men with an intimate tie to the landscape and the countryside. And that landscape is unmistakably Welsh and it's unmistakably real, visceral, present day. Thank you. Let's move on to the next category then. These are the books that are up for the Roland Mathias Poetry Award to Marlefra Barfoniaeth. Barddoniaeth Storm ar wyneb yr hael, Llyr Gwyn Lewis, Barddas Un strybedin bach, Rhys Iorweth, Carae Gwalch Willia, Make Stevens, Barddas Roland Mathias Poetry Prize My Family and Other Superheroes, Jonathan Edwards, Seren So Many Moving Parts Tiffany Atkinson, Blood Axe Books. Telling Tales, Patience Agbabi, Canongate. Dai gasglia gan ddau o feirdd ifanc amlwg Cymru, Anais. Yeah. Pam o'r debyg ydy'r cyfrol yma? Wel, yn anorfodd mae'r ddau, wrth gwrs, rhys a, a Llyr Gwyn, yn dod o gynarfon, yn dod yn ewreiddiol, mae'r ddau wedi mudo i'r brifdinas yng Nghair Dydd hefyd y trai blynyddodd. A wedyn, mag yn y ddau ambell i gerdd yn sôn am y tyndran ar rhwng broi mebyd a'r ffaith i bod nhw bellach yn byw yng Nghair Dydd. E, Mae rhys yn, yn canolbwyntio mwy ar y cerddi caeth, ar y gynghanedd. E, Mae'n amrywiaeth naws, mae'n amrywiaeth thema, mae gennych chi hiwmor, mae gennych chi fychan, mae gennych chi dynerwch yna hefyd. Ond mae llir wedyn er, er, fod o hefyd yn sgwennu e, cerddi caeth. Mae o wedi, pen, wedi um, penderfynu dilyn trywydd um, cerddi ferlib fwy er bod yn cynnwys ambell i gerdd gynganeddol. A mae cerddi llir dwi'n teimlo ond datgelu hynna'n yn fwy ar adeg. Um, chi, ma, ma nhw'n fwy um, tawel, ma nhw'n fwy myfyrgar o bosib iawn. Um, ond, Dwy gyfrol gan ddau fardd ar dop i gem. Castell Mike Stevens wedyn yn wahanol a nath honnych cyffwrdd chi o'r cychwyn cyntaf pam hynny ta? Cerddi cyhyrog iawn iawn. 
cerddi sy'n eich tarroch un eich talcan. Ond o dan hynny i gyd, mae yna ddwyster hefyd sy'n cyffwrdd. Yn arbennig yn y cerddi hynny lle mae o yn sôn am ymchwil i w gendi'r tirliol, lle mae o yn chwilio am wybodaeth am ei hen a'n er enghraifft. Ac os gwrs trwy'r cyfan ar hwng y llinellau gyd, mae'r dafodiaeth yma, um, dafodiaeth deddwyrau'n Cymru, y wain hwysig yma honno'n canu rhwng y llinellau. Interestingly, Alex, the main prize, the Wales Book of the Year Award, for the past two years has been awarded to a collection of poetry. Mm. So how strong is this year's shortlist? Really strong. When you're bringing together a shortlist in whatever category, you focus on the best books, the three best books, and that's all that you can do. And if they all turn out to be exactly the same, um, addressing the same themes written in the same style, then so be it. In this case, wonderfully, they're all so different. So we have this kind of fantastic portrait of contemporary poetry at the same time as we have these three brilliant books, a retelling of the Canterbury Tales set in London with each of Chaucer's characters given a sort of new modern urban form, a wonderful book by Jonathan Edwards, basically reimagining his family as superheroes and bringing to life um, small town Wales, Wales and its place in the world, fascinating. And Tiffany Atkinson's um, So Many Moving Parts, which is just so personal and beautifully raw. So they were just three very, very different books. And now to our last category, creative non-fiction, a category ola, Theithiol Griedigol. Feithiol Greadigol Mwyna Bardd, Kate Crockett, Bardas Rhyw Vlodau Rhyfel, Llyr Gwyn Lewis, Y Lolfa Cant o Oleg Feidd Hynod Cymru, Dyfed Elis Griffith, Y Lolfa Creative Non-Fiction American Interior, Griff Rhys, Hamish Hamilton other people's countries, Patrick McGuinness, Jonathan Cape. Down to the sea in ships, Horatio Clare, Chato and Windus. Well, on this category, I'm really allowing Etta Eleni. I guess you've said, hey, you're sending gold, clever or photographer, Arbor. Then Etta, I'm going to wear clever now, honey. Shams Ganin, do I speak? Oh, I'm Pentan. Be my own Kenig. Don't you Kenig go look now with the air and bentant ma the vetel scriffed ar outer sed hefyd wedi tynnu'r llynia mae ond ei dyn i ragor bod on etrach ar olad drwy dri chdei ar egor yn ei dyd yn ei faes ond mae gwirion ar ar wahan ei faes llyfra ac yn sicr dyna beth yn ein gael a nid golwg feidd hardd yn unig ond golwg feidd hynod fel mae ond ei ac oherwydd hynny oedd o'n un teimlo bod yna elfen i tha di amser i'r gyfrol hon y bysa hi dal mor gyfoes ym hen de chwarter canrif a mwy, um, nag yma hirwan oherwydd y testun. Mae llyfrau Kate Crockett wedyn a Llyr Gwyn Lewis i ail gyfrol oeg yr oedd rhestr fer yn dda. Maen nhw'n bersonol iawn ac eto'n wahanol iawn i'w gilydd. Felly pam, bu, pam bu'r hein di cyrraedd y rhestr well, fer? Yn y rhestr bod y, y, y ddwy gyfrol yn ymwneud â phersonau felly. Hynny di, mae Kate Crockett mae hi yn gynnig yn ni wrth gwrs ydy um, well, golwg ar waith a bywyd Dylan Thomas tro gyfrwng y Gymraeg yma tro cyntaf yn syndod nad oedd neb wedi gwneud hynny o'r blaen. Um, newyddiadur wraig wrth gwrs ydy Cet, felly mae harddull i y newyddiadurro, mae yna fywiog, um, a mae yna andros o lot o wybodaeth oedd iawn i gyfrol grynno iawn mewn gwirionedd, ond dydy hi byth yn arwynebol ac oedd ni wedi bod hynny yn dipyn o gamp. Llyr Gwyn Lewis wedyn, mae hon yn gyfrol eithau'n igryw o'r blith yr holl, um, gyfrol o dan i wedi darllen mewn gwirionedd. Ac yn bendant yn perthyn i'r gategori ffeithiol greadigol. Am y resmi bod ti yn chwarra, yn hyfryd iawn, um, ar y ffyn mae rhwng ffiglen a ffaith. Um, Craidd y, um, y gyfrol ydy bod yr awdur strog prif gymeriad. Yn dilyn hanas hen yw i'r sydd laddwyd yn Syria yn ystod yr Ail Rhyfel Byd. Ac ochr yn ochr a hynny wedyn, da chi'n cael taith yr awdur strog prif gymeriad i wahanol ddinasoedd um, yn Ewrop. A mae'n adjes rhyw awyrgylch fyrdd weithio braf, felly fel dwi'n deud y cyfan ar y ffyn amwys yna. 
All three books on this shortlist take us out of Wales and involve personal journeys. How symbolic is that, that they're taking us out of Wales? Well, we were very impressed by each of these three books and their sights on the horizons in completely different ways. I mean, we've got a pop star taking us both on a journey to America in the present day, but also a journey back in the footsteps of his ancestor, which turns into one of those kind of wonderful meditations in which you're both gripped by what is happening in the past and also really firmly attuned to this kind of strange present day reality that's unfolding, one of those journeys that's full of mishaps, full of reflections of past and present. Um, there's a sort of comedy and a kind of bathos to it um, that was just really captivating. Something completely different is Patrick McGuinness's Other People's Countries. Um, it's about the author's family, maternal family home in a tiny, tiny town in Belgium where some things have changed but many things haven't. It's about his very eccentric, um, interesting, tightly connected family and it's also about feeling yourself tied to a place. And what I think we all really loved about it was that I don't think any of us, I certainly didn't have any sort of connection to this place or to Belgium in any kind of way. And yet you could recognise how memory is made in one's sort of tie to a place and the way that actually you go on creating those memories all through your life. Um, a much more sort of literally voyaging um, book was Horatio Clare's Down to the Sea in Ships, in which the author took us to this sort of parallel universe that is all around us. You know, it takes up most of, most of the Earth's surface, in fact. Um, and he flung himself into the world of container ships. He, um, he, allowed, he was allowed to become a sort of writer in residence on a vast um, container ship, and he depicted this totally other life where there is a sort of hierarchy that cannot be broken because it would be sort of deathly to do so, uh, where there is this enormous ocean going trade that you know, we all rely on to get our food, our goods, everything. Um, and this strange camaraderie between men, a very masculine world, obviously it was fascinating. Alex, many thanks for your company this afternoon. My pleasure. And I still have a lot of company at four points of our cam Nesla. And congratulations to all the finalists. Thank you very much for on bydych barn chi am yr hester fer, cyfrannwch at y drafodaeth a chofiwch bleidleisio am eich hoff lyfr yng ngwobr barn y bobl, Golwg 360. You can also join in the debate and cast your vote for the book which you think deserves to win the People's Choice Award. And there are also extracts from all the books on the Petha and Wales Book of the Year websites. Cofiwch o posib cloi darlluniadau a thrafodaeth bellach am yr holl lyfrau ar wefan Petha a llyfr y flwyddyn. Mi fydd ein sicr yn ôl ma ar fy hefyd yn y pedwerydd ar gyfer noson o brwyo llyfr y flwyddyn. Mi fydd yn noson arbennig iawn, dwi'n siŵr, ac mae'n groes y mawr i chi ymuno fy ni felly prynwch eich tycynau rhywun. Join us here at Gallery on June the 4th for Wales Book of the Year Award Ceremony. You can buy your tickets now. Ond am y tro, mwyn hewch y darllen, enjoy the reading.